Hi guys, so today it is uh, super hot and humid. I feel like my face is already a melting. But what I've been wanting to do for the last week, and I'm finally getting this little sliver of time to do it, is I have been wanting to film a large family van organization video for you all since in my last video about our new van, it was more of us going to get it. And then of course, if you remember at the end when I went to film my tour, uh, I couldn't figure out how to get the interior light on and it was dark and my brain was done for that day so today hopefully I'm gonna be able to show you more of the inside of our van I'm also going to show you how we're organizing everything for the lake this summer not that I'm such a big expert but that I'm a real mom with eight kids and we're doing a lot of lake days and this is our big van and this is just how I'm doing it. So feel free to leave me your van organization tips in the comments below. So this is the wonderful super mega cargo room that is in the back of this van. Again, it's a 15 passenger van. We have it seated for 12, but even with the other seat, if we moved that bench back and put a seat in front, we still, this is the extended wheelbase yet again, so we still would have some good cargo room here, but I just like a lot since we have room for it right now. Anyway, at Walmart the other day, I got some just basic car organization goodies that they had there, and I'll tell you how I think I'm going to set it up. This this nice big organization set here is actually a tote. It has handles. So what I think I'm going to do is put a lot of our lake toys and lake supplies in there. I'm going to start organizing those here in a few minutes though and uh, we'll see how that works out. But I believe it'll work well because this has handles so it can just stay in the van. I'm also for the most part unless I'm shopping leaving our canopy tent in here too so that way we can do the canopy have our toys. This is really cute. It's got pictures of uh, hot dogs, popsicles, french fries, all of that, but it folds out to this really fun blanket. I'm sure you're going to be seeing that from us this summer, and I had to get that because that just said summer. Actually, I've been keeping that over here. I'll jump over here for a minute, and then we'll get back to that. See, it's just like you were here and we were chatting and subject jumping. This is just a plastic tote that I have filled for the back of this van that has diapers in there, and I do have cases of water back here too. So in here, I have some suntan lotion for the kids, got some trash bags for when we need them, some of these little baby food pouches, some hand sanitizer, um, yeah, and some baby wipes. And then I've also been keeping my ergo that I like to wear when we go out and this blanket. We have some water left over from some graduation barbecues and other family events and I just put that back here because it's uh, real quick when we're on the go. If we need it, it'll get it used. So. Back to this tote, that's the tote I got. Here is what it looked like. It's shown in a vehicle that doesn't have a lot of room in the back that looks like about as much room that's in the back of my Aspen. But I wanna show you the box it came with. Something I found that I'm really excited about is these are two trash bag holders. So I'm going to try to stagger these in between a couple different bench seats. And then whenever we get home from big days out, I can just have a kiddo empty those. We'll see how this works. Let me know if you've tried something like that. I also picked us up just another family first aid kit. I'm sure, I, I mean, I, I know I could have built a homemade kit a lot cheaper, but then again, it was just the ease of being able to buy it and having some emergency things just in case. And then I got these over the seat organizers. I got two of them. And so that way the kids will have a place to put their books, notebooks, toys, little odds and ends that uh, they need places for in the van, especially whenever we have a lot of time on the road and speaking trips and family trips and all kinds of things. We'll uh, just trying to get it as organized as possible. So I'm gonna take these goodies now. We're gonna go around and uh, get in the van and get them in place here and see just see how they work out. Hopefully they're as helpful as I think they'll be. I'll show you with the other cargo nets now that uh, you can see in our van. What's helpful is it does have these little cargo nets already on the back of the driver's side seat and behind the driver's side seat we have some of those just like industrial type paper towels and some baby wipes and some car wipes and then over here we have some of Benjamin's snacks but these will also collect water bottles or a book Liam is reading or something. We have Benjamin's car 
car seat over there. Some of the booster seats and such are sitting up front because I've been cleaning and organizing. It was so nice though. We could just take our broom and sweep it out. Here is how I have set everything up, guys. I put this behind the seat organizer here. Daniel usually sits over here so he can put little books and goodies in here. And then behind here, this just attaches behind that headrest, we have one of the trash bags. So obviously no one wants to ride around with a bag of trash in front of them, but it gives us the option whenever we, I don't know, are eating apples or whatever, I'll probably put a Walmart bag in there. It'll just give a designated spot. And uh, I think, I think that'll work well. So that's how this area looks. Okay, walk into the back and then again, same thing on the back section. This is, Amelia usually sits over here. So I've started with a few little toys I found. Same thing with at least having the trash uh, collection location here in the back and I finally figured out how to get those lights on they're actually they needed replaced so Travis found two LED and then the other two that needed replaced weren't LED so that's why those are different colors but let's see some other things we've gotten are those uh, sun shade protectors for the windows up there and I'll show you what I've been going through and cleaning. You know, I like to use lots of vinegar and such when cleaning, and I had gotten these Mrs. Meyers cleaning products, and I love the way this lemon smells. We've been cleaning all the bathrooms with it, wiping the kitchen countertops. I just cleaned the van with it, and now the van smells fantastic also. Kids are on the trampoline behind me, so that's the kid noises, and you can see how my poor little cloth fared, but I cleaned the dash and everything up here with it. Smells great. And preparing for all of our summer fun, I had gotten some new swim products for Daniel, Amelia, and Benjamin. I got Benjamin this little boat. So I'm gonna take it out and see how big this thing actually is. I was hoping it wouldn't have to be blown up, but now looking at it, it must have some sort of an inner tube. Anyway, got this little one for Amelia, and then Daniel got this one with the shark. Here's some more little sand toys and such I got. Make sure everyone's got some goggles to choose from. These are for a bigger kid. Lots of little shovels and rakes and sand toys. And we got lots of buckets. Made sure all the younger kids got a bucket to play with and some of these little sand toys. And these again were just from the Dollar Tree. I know that they'll get lots of use and love this summer. So here is how everything is turning out. This is also a sun wall I had got for the canopy. So I have this triple organization set. We have the swim jackets over here. I went ahead and put the lotion here. We got these water squirters and goggles and shovels. And then we have our... Hey, come here. Come here. What's Daddy doing? Uh, is he working on... Working on Benjamin's seat. Hey, Daniel, where are we going? To? Hey, buddy, look at mommy. Where are we going tomorrow? To the lake. To the lake. Are you so excited? Come here, come back. Now, look at mommy. What are you going to do with the lake? Uh, just the shovels to dig. Are you going to dig with the shovels? Uh -huh. Okay. Use those. You're going to use those shovels right there. It's going to be fun. All right, go back to trampoline jumping, buddy. So this is how I have the back organized, at least as we are getting summer rolling. Again, I've got my tub of just my normal stuff I need going out, like diapers and my ergo. The water bottles, the double stroller, the tent, the organization tote over there. Just room in the middle for whatever else. Of course, whenever I do my super mega shopping, these items are easy enough to set out while I go shopping and just put them back in. And since I didn't do a real good tour for you guys last time, here is how the van looks from the inside all lit up. And then in the front, I uh, I got my pile because like I said, I've been a cleaning. But now our van is all fresh and ready for the lake. And then tomorrow we will sweep it out and go for the week. So this wraps up my large family van organization, at least for the beginning of summer 2018. I am sure that over time our needs will change. We'll find things we need, things that we don't really use. I have heard some great tips about getting storage for under the seats. Once we start more heavy family road trips, um, I'm sure I'll see things that we need for road trips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I hope your summer is off to a great start. Bye-bye.